Hello everybody, welcome back to Rob Drain Reviews. Today I'm going to do a quick uh, video for you guys. I haven't done a video in a couple days here, but basically I'm just going to go through here real quick and show you guys how to basically just farm um, like mother boxes and gold and stuff like that. Um, most people probably already know the techniques, but if you don't, I'm about to show you the techniques. So Basically what you do here... Sorry, my voice sounds a little off today. I'm kind of, kind of sick. That's why I haven't been really doing many videos of late. So just give me a second here. And off we go here. Okay. Sorry, I was setting a timer so I don't go over on my video here. All right, so what you do is you come to the, basically you got your main screen here. You go to single player come down to the multiverse all right and here we are at the multiverse this is the easiest and fastest way to get like anything like epic gear things like that you can go to like places like this like this is like a batman tier only that means you can only play as batman to get his gear same with this is like captain cold only tier but like here you can go here you uh... just click on this and then you spend five thousand credits and you meet the requirements to do this and basically what you do is you, you select the character that allows you to select and then you select the character with your best gear on it and you just let it go here so I'm probably gonna let the uh, computer like the opening cutscene like I usually do I'm gonna let it play for you guys so you can hear the interaction between the characters again so we'll see what they have to say I'm gonna kill you, Flash. We've always been civil, Snart. The regime changed that. Begin. Yeah, that's, that's another fun thing about this game. I'm not usually a fighting type of person, but... Like a fighting game type of person, but this game is like... I, I don't even know how to describe it. I'm, I'm a DC fan, so I guess the reason why I like this game is because it's a DC game, you know? But... Your basic thing here is... You're... Basically, just playing as your favorite characters in DC. They also have like the Marvel vs. Capcom series. I'm probably gonna do a video on that when it comes out and show you guys all like all the Marvel characters and stuff like that. I'm like a, like I said, one of my previous videos. I'm kind of a 50/50 on the fence about whether or not I like what's what I like better, DC, Marvel. You know, I, I like certain characters from Marvel and I like certain characters from DC. Other than that, like in the Marvel Universe, I like like Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, the basic Justice League people, that kind of thing. I also like the Teen Titans, like Starfire, Robin, um, the original Teen Titans, I should say. I like uh, Starfire, Raven, um, Robin, Beast Boy, and um, Cyborg. Those are like all also favorite characters of mine. In the Injustice universe, I kind of hate that they're, like, they're bad and the fact that they killed off um, Beast Boy and all that kind of stuff. And then Starfire got locked away in the Phantom Zone and all that stuff. So it kind of made it bittersweet, I guess, this game is. If you if you really like certain characters and you don't want them to be killed off, this game kind of just kills people off pretty easily. Same with Shazam. I liked him a little bit and they killed him off. Let's see, this is how you basically do this, and then you go just save in there down in the right hand corner. And basically, this is how you just get your like epic boxes, epic gear I meant, and like your. Let's see, I got all those extra boxes, so you get a platinum, a gold, and a silver box. So you can basically build up a lot of stuff really fast. So you get like a platinum mother box right off the bat. You get an epic gear for the person you battle as and then sometimes and then like if you're going through here you get like epic like two pieces of epic gear. Bam, right just like that. And then you can just keep doing that over and over again. Then if you go to like these tiers here, like here's epic gear, you gotta beat basically all these other levels to get to this tier so you can get like three pieces of epic gear and then after you beat it and get three pieces of epic gear, it always every time you beat it after that will give you a platinum box. I should show that. And then also if you push a triangle here, it'll show you objectives so you can get an extra platinum boxes like that. And then I see it shows you it gives you extra stuff when you do these complete these things. Like if you use a if you defeat like the perfect uh storm right there with five epic epic uh with five rare gear, 
Um, then they have the other one that says if you beat Frosty with a gold score on the, what does that say? It looks like Frosted, Frosty Confrontation right there. So basically you just go through here and you just do that. I'm not going to do it in this video probably. I don't know. I might do a couple of them. But basically to complete Perfect Storm. Let's see where's Perfect Storm. Right here you have to actually go into your character and make sure they have all rare gear equipped in order to get that bonus essentially. And those usually last forever, so I'm probably not going to do one of those. But then you just come here, like, you got all this stuff here. Like, say you want some pl uh, some platinum boxes. I mean, silver boxes, just go here. You got bronze boxes, gold boxes. I usually try to stick with the tiers that are a little less, like, five or below. Because then you can go through them a lot faster. See, and then I also have, so you got complete downfall with a gold score, which is, is decently. I'm going to try doing it with the gold score here. And I'm not going to do that. But you get the you get the gist of it. And then you get this. You get to spend seventy five thousand credits to meet the requirement. I don't usually do this unless it's worth my time. Like right here, this is new. Actually, I might do this one before it goes out. So basically, just go here. Um, and then I like to use Starfire, so I'm going to use Starfire, and she's going to basically beat these tiers. I'm just going to ramble on a little bit about the game and stuff like that. I may throw in some interesting facts here and there. Also. If you guys like the videos, just just let me know. I, I like to, I like to make them. I don't edit like a lot of people. Like if you guys know Markiplier and all that stuff like that, I'm not like super in editing yet because you fought for the regime. 100% team Batman now. Sorry about that. that. Doesn't mean you are forgiven. I like to let you hear the things like I said before. I like you to hear the conversations between the two people. But anyways, <laughs> excuse me. But, yeah, as I was saying, I don't, my videos are basically almost like non-existent with editing. Sometimes I will edit, I'll edit like the volume, like if I think it's too high or too low, I'll edit the volume. But other than that, I really don't edit my videos too much. But just basically what you see is what you get. Basically, I'm playing the game, I record it while I'm playing it, I don't edit it, I don't throw in little funny things or anything at the moment. But as soon as people start liking, commenting, and subscribing on my videos, I'm going to start doing a lot more Green editing. Got this. Soak up some sun. And a lot more, um... Basically, just funny stuff like I put, and then I'm gonna put like music in the beginning and stuff like that. If you guys want to see that, just let me know in the comments. I just, I'm just basically starting out this YouTube channel. I only, I have like 20 videos. I don't have very many likes or subscribes, so I don't know if people are enjoying those videos I'm making or if you guys ain't enjoying them. Because if you're not enjoying them, there'll be, I mean, there's no point obviously me making them if you guys don't enjoy them. And just put in the comments like what you'd like me to do, like. What type of videos you guys like to see, like Let's Plays and things like that. I'm probably going to do a Let's Play on, um, what game? Dark Souls. I'm actually going to start my game over again, because I basically did some bad things in that game anyways. I basically like, killed all the people I shouldn't have killed. So I'm going to have to restart that entire game. It's not going to be that exciting. <laughs> I'm done being friendly. But my smile brightens any room. Give up or get lit up. Begin. But yeah, they, there's a lot of funny interactions between people here. But yeah, the video I may end this video between like before I'm done battling all the tears here. But I just wanted to throw out a video get for you guys today because I wanted to make sure you guys know that I'm still still pumping out videos for you guys, and I just wanted to keep you guys up to date and such on what's going on and basically just show you some of the characters but basically my new favorite character in this game is Starfire if you can't tell she's uh, some people would call her overpowered but I don't think she's overpowered she's she, she's not really much of a I, I guess you could say she's not much of a melee fighter so of course she's gonna have to have uh, The yeah, ironic thing about that, uh, the move that, uh, super move that uh, Joker does is that's the way he actually killed the, uh, what was it, not the Dick Grayson, but um, the Jason Todd um, Robin, he actually killed him that way, so 
It, it's called, it's like in the comic, I believe, or like the show, it's called uh, Death in the Family. Basically, Joker kills the, one of the Robins, and Batman gets all pissed off about it and sad and stuff. But the, uh, the ironic thing is, he he doesn't like kill the Joker because that's like his role, you know, you can't kill nobody, that kind of thing. Even in the Injustice universe, Batman stays the same, but Superman changes and he becomes a bad guy, which is really interesting. You wouldn't think that that would happen. Not some trophy, Brainiac. You will be collected. Try it and you will get burned. But all in all, the game is fun. And if you guys want to ever pick it up, I definitely suggest you pick the game up. It's worth your time. It's worth picking it up. So, I'm probably going to end my video here at like, um, I think like 11 minutes because my son just got up so I'm gonna, I don't want him to basically be in the background making noise and stuff like that. So if you guys like the video, just make sure to let me know. Um, just tell me what you want from content from me. I know I'm not in like Markiplier right now. Like I'm, I'll do Let's Plays. If I do a Let's Play, I'm going to do a, I'm not gonna put my picture up in the corner because I, I don't have really good cameras and stuff right now. I'm basically just doing it on a whim and I'm using basically the PlayStation app so when she beats him right here I'm gonna end the video for you guys okay so I'm gonna end the video here like I said if you guys enjoy the content you enjoy the videos you have anything you want to add just put it in the comments hit that like button so that way I know that what I'm doing is you guys are enjoying it and make sure to subscribe if you like it so that way you can get content constantly from me you subscribe hit the little icon to get notifications to whenever i post a video it'll come right to you guys and then you can watch it and tell me what you think of it all right this is rob's random review saying have a good day